What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as B365 Geek, and today we're talking about Power Automate and Microsoft Teams, and we're going to look at the trigger, which is when I am mentioned in a channel preview. So this is a new action currently in preview, or new trigger, sorry, currently in preview, that allows you to be notified or to trigger a flow based on an at mention inside of a flow. Now, I did some testing with this. It only works when you are at mentioned, so it doesn't work when you are uh, mentioned as part of a channel. So this is specifically when you are being at mentioned, which is quite useful. So let's take a look at it. So in Power Automate here, I have my flow and I can click on Microsoft Teams right here in the middle of my connectors. Then I can go down to this one when I am mentioned in a channel message preview. So we can select that. Now the first thing it's going to ask me for is the team and the channel. So I can select the team being uh, my MCJ demo team. That's my team that I'm going to be using for this demo. And then the channel, I only have one channel in that team and that is this general channel. At this point it doesn't actually need any other information. It's just going to, it's just going to trigger based on those two criteria. So if I go in and just add a compose step, we can add something in, say, like uh, message, message property sort of thing. But there's a whole list of things in here, message body, message from, so you can add who it's from. Let's add the message from as well. I think the message from is going to give us a good uh, message from user, message from. So we'll try that out. Now I can save and test this. Now to test this, I need to be at mentioned. Now the problem is that you can't at mention yourself and I don't have anyone else in my team. So we have a uh, we have a solution for that. So we'll trigger this and start to test it. And in this other window, I have a, another flow, and this is a manual trigger flow. It's going to get an app mentioned token for me and then post it to the same channel. So it's basically just posting this. It says, hey there, um, with my app mentioned, and this is my token that's going to go and get. We'll cover these in later videos. We'll just test this out, click test, I'll perform a test, run the flow, click done, go over to my team channel, it was a bit, it was a bit too quick there, but uh, it just posted here, 741, Matt Collins Jones, hey there, that's cool. So that flow ran successfully, go back to the initial one we looked at, we can see this flow ran successfully. Um, it is having a problem loading this page, so we'll just uh, go back for a second, and then look at the flow run, it'll be a bit easier. So you see this, we can see that we've got uh, the outputs um, from the, the trigger here. And then if we look in the compose action, yeah, we get, uh, oh, so yeah, the message is this whole message tag here um, with all the um, gubbins. Uh, it's not very really useful, but it does say that this was the user uh, here. I think I used the wrong message when I put this in. Uh, but it, at least it tells me that I've got this user, this is the ID, this is the name. And then if we scroll through, we got this message here. Um, so not, not super friendly that way. Uh, I wonder if there is a, a message, plain text message body. No, I just want, is it just plain text maybe? Uh, but yeah, we got all these little summaries and stuff like that. I'm sure there's a plain text one in here. Let's try this one, this message body. Just trigger this again, just to show you uh, the details. Uh, it's a bit better. We get kind of the body of it um, and we get the content of it being HTML um, because that's how the, the team uh, message is rendered. So there we go. So that is a way you can get triggered based on an app mentioned. So I know a lot of people uh, work on multiple projects, doing a lot of things. They don't always keep up to date with uh, teams and things like that. You could have a, an app mention that maybe puts a, creates an item on your to-do list. Hey, go look at this. Um, this message from your teams or maybe sends you an email if you're not in the office so you maybe don't you don't have the teams client on your phone uh, you're out of the office so you're only picking up emails so an app mentions you and then uh, it sends the, the message body through an email to you to go and uh, read it and then reply back to that um, reply back to that colleague uh, so that's those are a couple of ways that I think I could use this uh, but what do you guys think is this something you would use do you use it at the moment let me know in the comments down below if you found this video useful, if you could like and share it with your friends, that would be appreciated. If you've not already, click the subscribe button and stay up to date with all my latest videos, and I'll see you next time.